They arrive tired and traumatized to a stadium in Freetown to recuperate after an appalling experience in Libya. The International Organization for Migration, or IOM, flew these migrants back in partnership with the Sierra Leone government. Momo Alpha left Sierra Leone because he couldn't find work. The United Nations Development Program says 70% of youth are unemployed or underemployed in Sierra Leone. He had hopes of reaching Germany, where his brother is, and Libya is the gateway there. Once Momo arrived in Libya, he was put in prison, forced to live in squalid conditions. You are beaten badly, and the prison guards always ask for money. If you don't give it to them, they will continue beating you, and sometimes you can be shot dead. Momo's brother managed to send him money from Germany. Mohamed Bangura was working in Libya, but his employers never paid him. Instead, they asked his family to send them money. When that didn't happen, they broke Mohamed's foot. So I'm happy today I'm in my country. I have my freedom. Thank God for that. Once the migrants have had a chance to settle back in Sierra Leone, they will then go through a reintegration process with IOM. That will include a total of 1,050 euros. 50 euros will be used as onward assistance ship transportation, which will be issued out today for them to go back and reconnect with their family. The 1,000 euros that is left will be used for them as for business, accommodations, education, or whatever it is they want to do. The United Nations estimates about 700,000 migrants are in Libya. The IOM plans to fly 15,000 migrants home from detention centers in Libya before the end of the year. The Ministry of Foreign Affairs says they are looking at ways to address the issue of people leaving Sierra Leone. Government is working with the sub-region ECOWAS, AU, I mean to work out border, you know, control systems for us to enhance, you know, or to tackle this issue of um, uh, migration. As for Momo, he just hopes he will be able to find work back in his homeland. Nina DeVries, Al Jazeera, Freetown.